Welcome to week two of the Zero Energy Design course. Since you have returned, I assume you liked the first week. This week we will focus on the step preceding the actual redesign process, research. After all, you need to know within which context you are performing your work. But first, let's have a look back to see what you have learned last week. First, I introduced the course to you, explaining why we think it is important, what we will teach you and how. Then you watched our mini film Energy Slaves, about the energy use of a household and how human power could be involved to generate this energy. In the lesson following, I discussed energy and power, the differences, units and meaning of quantities of energy. Then Eric taught you about the heat balance of a house and how you can determine the incoming and outgoing flows of energy. In the final lesson, you learn how to calculate the energy use of a house and use that for the assignment of week one, to calculate the energy use of the building of your own choice. Hopefully, you manage to get through this, with or without support from the communi community online. Now you know the basics to continue. The lessons of this week will be the following. I'm presenting the introduction to you now. In lesson 2.2, I will discuss different climates across the world, how these have influenced vernacular architecture and which different climate aspects determine the energy performance. You will learn why using locality is an important means to create energy efficient buildings. Then in lesson 2.3, I briefly guide you through the history of climate design, especially bioclimatic design, illuminating its principles and mechanisms. Having been introduced to smart bioclimatic design, it has then become time to watch the mini documentary about the pret Roger house. In lesson 2.5, I will explain further the smart bioclimatic design interventions and technology of the sustainable terraced house. And finally, Eric will go deeper into the assignment of this week. Briefly, the assignment of this week is twofold. First, we want to ask you to analyze your own local climate or the climate of the site of your building. Therefore, Lesson 2.2 will give you some sources and in Lesson 2.6 Eric, Eric will explain further and give a lot of recommendations. You can present these in graphs and tables. You are doing this for yourself, so do it in the fashion that helps to your own design, decision and design process most. As said, Eric will help you with this in the final lesson. The second request is to analyze the vernacular architecture of your region, meaning the region of your building. Easiest is to have a look around, go hiking, cycling or if necessary driving around to see historic architecture, look it up in literature or Google for it on the web. Then what you need to do is deduce the climatic and technical design principles used in these forms of architecture. And then you can present these in drawings, sketches or schemes. They might also be notes, whatever help you, helps you most. Do you think you can do that? I wish you a lot of fun and useful knowledge this week and we'll see you again with a climate lesson. Bye.